So look at this interesting place. Register Cliff. So I just got done filming the video of the Oregon Trail, the deep ruts there, and that's just a couple miles away. And there's just enough sunlight left to come here to this amazing place, Register Cliff. This is where people traveling on the Oregon Trail, this is one of the places where they inscribe their names into this sandstone here. So we're gonna go and check this out because the history is very significant. And unfortunately, there's a lot of newer names, but they are also slowly becoming historic. 1977, 1952, 86, 1970. So people have been carrying on this tradition for a long time. I think further down the other way is more the original inscribed names and messages. Can you just imagine traveling across the country in this fashion? A root cellar for storage of produce was essential before the days of supermarkets. The Frederick family blasted an opening into the cliff face for storing potatoes and vegetables the constant temperatures kept produce cool in the summer and protected it from freezing in the winter. Very interesting. So this is a root cellar. The family who owned this area, this land, blasted this out and used it as uh, a means to keep produce cool in the summer and keep it from freezing in the uh, cold winter. Now you could really spend hours here and it's probably hard to see on camera but every single area has names and I'm, but i'm looking for the actual uh ones that are well known to be in the 1800s And who's to say which ones of these are legit and which ones weren't carved out 20 years ago? If you, if it makes you happy to be a naysayer and be negative about it, by all means. But, you know, it's uh, pretty standard information here. It's a fact that the uh, people traveling on the Oregon Trail definitely did inscribe their names into this. It's, it's well documented. Who knows if kids have went right over them or something. I don't know. There's a couple signs here that, a couple pictures that show some of the original ones, but you would be here all day to find that. It would be nice if they would have somehow framed off and protected the really old ones. You know, the funny thing is that it, it does say it's illegal to uh, deface this rock. I'd say there's a solid 50 years of defying that law. Probably more, actually.
there's a couple on the sign over here, the information sign, but they don't, there's no indication once you're out here looking on the rock where anything is. You know, they don't, uh, it's too bad they don't have a little sign with an arrow or something, but uh, don't, don't come here. You know, don't drive hours to come here unless you like looking at uh, the names that are not that old, which to me is pretty interesting too. When you're looking at, you know, you're looking for there's a lot of a lot of dates and names from the 1940s and 50s. Here's one, you know, some old stuff, 1934. I think that's a 1934. I can't really make out the name, but all right, now the sun really is going down, and I still have about an hour. It's worth a drive or so, hour and a half. So I'm getting back on the road. See you in the next video.